Hey everyone, this is Lindy from Love Crate Celebrate and today is a very exciting day. We are finally laying down our new laminate flooring and we're going to show you just how easy it is to install this stuff. Golden Select provided us with all of the laminate flooring for this space and we can't wait to get it down. Our first step, which really didn't take that long at all, was to remove all of the furniture all of the baseboards, and all of the old laminate flooring. So I just want to quickly compare our old flooring with the new flooring. Those orange floors are what were originally in the house, and the new flooring from Golden Select is actually a 15 millimeter flooring, so you can see it's quite a bit thicker when you have the two pieces of flooring face to face. Aside from us just liking the color of the flooring better, the new flooring from Golden Select also has a built-in underlay, so you no longer have to put a whole layer of underlay down on the floor and tape it before you put the new flooring down. We started by laying our flooring in that top left corner there so that our end joint would be facing the right direction and our tongue would be facing the wall before we started. Every board has a tongue and a groove, the groove is the lowered lip and the tongue the higher lip. You always want to start with the tongue side against the wall. You also want to make sure you have an eighth of an inch spacers along any walls that you're putting the flooring against. These spacers will allow the flooring to expand and contract when there's temperature changes or to move as necessary. And those gaps will always be covered up by baseboards. To install your laminate flooring, Gently place the tongue of your new board inside the groove of the previous board. Make sure that you leave that eighth of an inch gap along any sides that you have. We gently hammer the board into place using a spare piece of flooring. We put the tongue from the spare piece right into the groove of the new piece and gently hammer it at three different points along the board. When you're laying boards beside one another, always start by putting the tongue of the new board into the grooves of the boards in front of them and gently sliding them over. Use the same method with the spare piece of flooring to knock the new board down into place. Then you can gently use a rubber mallet to make sure that the end joints are properly connected. If they seem like they might not be in perfectly, we recommend using that spare piece once again right over top of the end joint and hammering it so that the joint is nice and tight. When you're installing the last piece in a row, you first want to get a measuring tape and measure the distance between the wall and the previous piece. Then you want to subtract an eighth of an inch, which is the thickness of the spacers you're using, so that your board doesn't go right up against the wall. Get your next laminate flooring board and make sure you're measuring from the correct side. Then mark the measurement you previously took. Use a speed square to draw a quick line right across the face of the new board. Then take that board over to your miter saw and cut right along that line. If you ever have to cut your flooring lengthwise, like when you're putting in your last row of flooring, we recommend using a table saw for those cuts. The board should fit perfectly and then just install it the same way you installed the previous boards. As you can see, standard baseboards will always cover that eighth of an inch gap. Another quick tip is that it's always easier to hammer the boards in place from behind the board. So once you have a few rows of laminate flooring in place, you can actually sit right on those rows of flooring when you hammer in your next pieces. When you're planning the stagger of your flooring, you want to make sure that the boards are at least 8 inches apart. Generally, you can use the piece you cut off from the previous row in the next row, but you should always measure just to make sure it's a good fit. 
When you come across tricky spots like going underneath baseboards or coming across notches that you need to cut, our favorite tool for that job is a Dremel with a flat blade. Here we had one small piece of molding that we didn't want to remove because then we would have to paint and putty it and create a lot more work for ourselves. So instead we're cutting underneath the molding to allow enough space for the flooring to go under. We're using a spare piece of molding as a guide to make sure that we cut enough space that it can slide through. And that's all there is to it. It is really easy to lay laminate flooring. We did this entire room in one afternoon and we're so happy with how the new flooring looks. Links to all of the products and tools that we used will be in the description. If you have any questions about laying laminate flooring, please leave them in the comments below or visit the blog post linked in the description as well. If you liked that video, please give it a thumbs up and let us know in the comments below. And hit that bell so that you're notified of the next time we share a DIY or renovation video.